Hello everyone, I'm Shamant Gowda, CSAT faculty at Insights IAS. I welcome you once again for the question of the day series. And this was the last video's bouncer question. I am going to explain this question in detail in this video. And the question says, in an analog clock at 4.30, R and faces west. See, the direction here, it is east, west, north, south. But he has given the new references. In an analog clock at 4.30, R and faces west. I am drawing a clock. Approximately 4.30 has to look like this. 4.30. Okay. Now, at 4.30, the R and is facing west. He has given the new references here. This is the R and which is facing west. If I draw an one imaginary line, anything opposite to west e is nothing but east. Similarly, if I draw a perpendicular here to east and west, see, this is the west. What becomes left of west? This is the west. Left of west will be south. So, this is the south and this is the north. This is the new references according to the given statement. In an analog clock at 4.30, the R and faces west. The R and is facing west. This is the new reference. Okay. Now, in the same watch at 7 o'clock, minute hand faces what direction? Okay. In the same clock, when the time is 7 o'clock. Now, let us redraw the 7 o'clock. I am drawing the 7 o'clock now. 7 o'clock looks something like this approximately. Okay. 7 o'clock, isn't it? Looks like this. When the time indicated is 7 o'clock, what is the minute hand faces? See, minute hand faces what direction? It is between south and east. Between south and east, the direction will be southeast. The answer is southeast. Same question can be asked in a different way. A cartographer, while drawing the map, at the place of west, he draws south. So, at the place of northeast, what is the direction in which he will be going? Okay, very similar kind of questions can be asked. Okay, the same line question. This is the question of the day, guys, and this is the topic ranking and order which I have taken from. Look here now. In a class of 69 students, Rahul's rank is 11 ahead of Mukul. Ahead means towards the top. In a, whenever it is a ranking question, ahead means towards the top, towards first. There are 69 students here. And Rahul's rank is 11 ahead of Mukul. Let's consider this is Rahul and this is Mukul. Okay, Mukul and he is 11 ahead. What is the position of Rahul from the top? You have to find the position of Rahul from the top. If Mukul is 30 seconds from the last, if Mukul is 30 seconds from the last, see, I am writing here 30 seconds position from the last. Agree? From the last, if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, similarly, the Mukul comes at 30 second position from the last. If Mukul is 30 second from the last and if you know that Rahul's rank is 11 ahead, 11 ahead means Rahul has to be 43rd from the last, isn't it? 11 ranks ahead, 43rd from the last. Now we have to find the Rahul's position from the top, from the top. Now if I ask you, if in a class of 69 students, from first to last 69 students, if Rahul's rank is 43rd, okay, from here to here, if there are 43 people including Rahul, before Rahul, how many people are there? Out of 69, 43 only here. So, remaining means 26 people, 26 students will be before Rahul, right? So, in a line, when you are standing, if there are 26 people in front of you, your position will be what? 27th, isn't it? Okay, above Rahul, ahead of Rahul, if 26 people are there, then Rahul's position is what here? 27th position. Okay, do not just subtract, add plus 1 at the end, or else positioning. Do the counting rather than the calculation. This is a very similar kind of question picked from the same topic. This one I am giving you as the bouncer. Try to solve the question and put the answer in the comment section, guys. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.